All right. This video's lesson is going to be a grade five lesson on adding decimals. And we're going to consider this a nine calculator problem. Okay. Um, you see, I have it broken down into three main parts. Okay. A verbal translation. Then we're going to actually jump into what the sum is. We're going to find the answer. And then we're also going to talk about error. We're going to have an error analysis discussion to discuss what errors or mistakes people might possibly make when doing this type of problem. All right, so number one says 56 and 791 thousandths plus one and nine tenths equals what? All right, so I'm going to zoom in here. First thing we want to really focus on is this verbal translation here, okay? I'm going to choose to start with the question mark. That question mark uh, really can be translated to say find the sum of. Or we can say, what is the sum of? All right, so that is the question mark translated. Okay, next we want to go ahead and um, get back to the very first number 56 and 791 thousandths. The main vocabulary that I want to stress here is the decimal place and the place, the decimal place value. Okay, so that's 56 and 791 thousandths. 56, the decimal place you say is and, and then 791 thousandths. And when we're discussing place values for decimals, we always want to end with THS, okay? It's very important to make sure we understand that. I'm going to highlight the 56, that first number, 56 and 70, 791 thousandths is green. So when we go back and take a look, that's going to be green. All right, the next number here is 1 and 9 tenths, so I'm going to go ahead and write that. Oh, excuse me, I skipped over. I'm, I, I did something here. Let me go back up here because I completely skipped over a symbol. It says 56 and 791 thousandths plus or added to 1 and 9 tenths. So really needed to go ahead and translate that. In the context of this problem, we can say plus or we can say and. I really prefer to use the word and for this context here. So and we're going to capitalize that. So that and represents the plus sign. Now we can get into the other number, one and nine tenths. And because this is a decimal, remember we have the THS at the end, that's important because that to us symbolizes the decimal place value. I'm gonna highlight the one and nine tenths in blue. So when we go back and zoom out and look at everything, everything is nice and color coordinated. But once again, this, the THS, represents decimal place value. All right, let's take a look. We got a nice look at that right there. Okay. So that was the verbal translation. And um, just to bring some more attention to that, the verbal translation is because I like to say that math is a language. Because math is a language, it's important to know how to read it, write it, and say it. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Let's actually go ahead and do what the problem is calling for, actually find the answer. So with that being said, there's, a, there's one main thing to remember here. <clears throat> Always remember to line your decimals up. To... to line up your decimal places. Okay. So what is that going to look like? I right now the problem is written horizontally. I want to write it vertically. So 56 and 791 thousandths plus 1 
and nine tenths. Now that I have that all lined up properly, now all I need to do, I can go ahead and add, but right before I add, I want to fill in those empty place values with the zeros. Because zero is, is essentially a place value holder. Okay? So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and add. We'll use the blue. 1 plus 0 is 1. 9 plus 0 is 9. 7 plus 9 is 16. Drop the 6. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8. And we can bring down that 5. And of course, we're going to keep our decimal place in the same location. So we have a final answer of 58 and 691 thousandths is our final answer. That is the sum to this question. All right, now let's go ahead and um, jump into an error analysis uh, discussion real quick, briefly. And the main error here is going to come from people not doing what? Not lining up their decimal places properly. So I'm going to show how that one mistake can lead to two different errors. 56 and 791 thousandths plus 1 and 9 tenths. And, and some of you probably can already tell what the two mistakes are going to be or the two possible mistakes. It's going to be because when you don't line the decimals up, play, uh, the dec decimal place values up properly, when you don't line them up properly, you don't know where to um, put the decimal for the final answer. So let's take a look at this. One person, if I add all that up, 1 and 9 make 10, carry the 1. 1, 9, and 1 make 11, carry the 1 again. That's going to make 8, bring down the 6, bring down the 5, and then I'm just going to rewrite that same answer down here. 1 and the 1. Now, one person doing a problem might use that as the decimal and bring it down right there. One person might use this as the decimal and bring it down right there. Either way, both of them are incorrect. They did their adding properly. They didn't make any you know, I have I didn't make any mistakes with my addition. It's just the fact that one, I didn't line my decimal place up um, correctly. Therefore, I didn't know where to properly put my decimal. Okay, the correct answer. So that will conclude today's lesson. Really want to emphasize, you know, the vocabulary. The final answer. The main thing to take away from today's uh, lesson for adding decimals is to always line up your decimal places. I usually don't put X's, but I really want to emphasize that that is not the proper way to do this problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something from today's lesson. I will see you all next time.